Well, Professor Sir Ian Gilmore is chairman of Alcohol Health Alliance UK. He's in our central London studio. Uh, why do you think the numbers of women drink driving are going up so quickly? Well, it's very worrying at several levels. This really is in line with the way that women are now figuring much more highly in, in deaths from cirrhosis of the liver, for example. Women are catching up with men, just as they did after the war, in, in smoking-related problems. So I think this is very much part of a trend. It's also very worrying because drink driving was one of the very few successes we've had in the health harms related to alcohol. It had been dropping. Now, generally, the figures are rising. Uh, if, it's begun, if it's going to become socially acceptable to drink and drive again, then we really are in trouble. 17% of women uh, who are caught, 17% of people caught drink driving are women. That, of course, still leaves 83% of men. They're the real problem with drink driving, aren't they? Why is the message, after all these years, still not getting across to all uh, people in the population that drink driving is unacceptable? Well, there are many reasons, but I think we mustn't forget that there are one and a half million dependent drinkers. That's alcoholics in common parlance in this country. And many of those uh, feel they need to drive for their work or collecting children or whatever, but they also need to drink. And I think we have to get really much tougher uh, with random testing, with putting more resources into roadside testing, but also considering whether the people who are caught actually have a problem with addiction and need funneled into, into proper treatment. A lot anecdotally that, that we hear about with, with people who get caught drink driving say they didn't realise they were over the limit. How much of a problem is, is the actual pub trade? Can we lay the blame at them, the fact that when you go in and ask for, for a glass of wine, you're given you know, something that's not far off a bucket of wine? Uh, that people just don't really seem to be aware of actually the amount they're consuming. Well, certainly we know that glasses are getting larger and drinks are getting stronger. But that doesn't take away from the fact it isn't a very difficult message that any alcohol impairs your driving performance. It, re it slows down your reaction time. And I think we have to be moving towards zero tolerance. The UK is now the only country in, the, in Europe, together with Malta, that has a, a drink driving limit of 80 milligrams per cent rather than 50. So as a first step, we must come down to 50 to bring ourselves in line with other countries and to, and to save lives. And then that, there should be a move, as there is already in many European countries, to, to zero tolerance. If it did go down from 80 to 50, what would that mean? What would be the safe amount that you could dr drink before you could get behind the wheel? Well, it's very difficult to generalise because people have different sizes. They break down alcohol at different rates. It depends whether you've eaten or not, for example. But in general terms, it would not be safe to have more than one standard drink before, having, before taking the wheel of a car if you had a level of 50. 80 is a grey area, maybe two drinks uh, in some people, maybe not in others. And I think it would, it would bring us into line with other countries but also clarify one drink, one standard drink, and I don't mean a third of a bottle of wine uh, in a large glass, one standard drink, no more. Is part of the problem enforcement? Do you think the police are keen enough to, to stop people drink driving? They have an awful lot on their plates at the moment, the police, don't they? It is, it is very difficult, and I think that the, the law, to me at least, seems a little bit opaque as whether there is true random testing. Those countries that have brought in uh, a lower drink driving limit and really policed it very hard with random testing have actually not just brought down uh, deaths from drink driving, they've brought down alcohol-related harm in other areas. So it really does work, but it needs to be policed properly, it needs to be enforced, and I think that's where we can make some progress.